This painting is a portrait, but it is not a portrait of a person or even a group of people. I baptize thee is a portrait of an idea. This painting by William H. Johnson gives visual form to a proposition that faith can have a sustaining role within a community. Johnson had been born and raised in Florence, South Carolina. In I Baptize Thee, he combined memory and imagination to create a visual expression of the role of faith within his African-American community. At the center of this composition, a woman in white is being baptized. On either side of her are men dressed in black. As their hands support and wrap around her, their movement creates a visual rhythm that is almost musical. As these gestures dance through the image, they activate an otherwise stable composition. The understated eloquence of Johnson's painting visualizes the spiritual drama of this baptismal ritual. The poses of these ministers complement each other. One figure gestures upward as if he is directing the service, and the other bows as if he is in prayer. Johnson's compositional structure visualizes a type of call and response that is an important part of worship in many African American churches. One of the ministers touches the sky. Heaven and earth are spiritually united in this moment of ritual. The shape of this white cloud evokes the dove of the Holy Spirit, which descended on Christ during his baptism. One of the strengths of Johnson's art is his ability to create forms that are both individual and interconnected. Each area of color asserts itself as a unique abstract form and simultaneously participates with its neighbors as part of a unified image. Perhaps at first, this painting might look very simple, but as we look carefully, we can see that Johnson has in fact developed a nuanced visual language that enabled him to express himself with purpose and precision. He arrived at this seemingly naive method after decades of formal training and artistic experimentation. Johnson called this method primitive, by which he meant that everything extraneous or incidental to the painting had been removed, and only what was essential and authentic to the work remain. Johnson understood that every detail, every form, and every color contributed something necessary to both the composition and to the painting's spiritual expression. On the other hand, if any detail was not necessary to the painting's success, it therefore subtracted from the work's power to communicate. This unnecessary and distracting detail could then be eliminated from Johnson's so-called primitive painting. What is particularly significant about I Baptize Thee as a portrait of a community's faith is that Johnson avoided all sentimentality. By sentimentality, I mean a formulaic and inauthentic emotional content that is imposed onto the motif. Instead, Johnson drew artistic inspiration from his motif and translated that into a visual method that makes his expression immediate and authentic. 